I think coaching can be for at any level, right? Uh, it is a process of deeply thinking towards solutions, towards change, towards a positive change, towards growth. I think that that space is nurturing for anyone. Right? I I enjoy being a coachy as much as uh, more coaching uh, a client. Uh, I feel kind of as uh, I feel I'm kind of evolved a slightly better person because of this uh, experiences that I can truly uh, listen to another person right when you have some some really uh, you know psychological issues you don't go and discuss with your friends or maybe they will support you maybe they will not but you go to a professional right so same thing I feel is the future because when you have a goal whom do you go and discuss? Sometimes the spouse is willing to listen. Sometimes they are not. Why do you want to discuss about your goals and your business? No. So whom do you discuss? With your colleagues? I don't know whether they would be of... Maybe maybe you are lucky. You, you might find a very supportive person. But it's not a it's not a really a, the best place to go and discuss about your goals. The best space to go and discuss is with a coach. Right? You get so much of clarity. Otherwise... Everything is so foggy, you know, about your goals, about your aspirations. Uh, that's that's a great outlook, personally for me as well as I'm sure to all the listeners uh, of, uh, of of this talk. Uh, is there any secret sauce to get paid clients? And I'm asking this uh, to you specially because, uh, you know, you may be uh, starting off as, a, you know, in the coaching space new, but is there anything that can be applied from your training space, you know, having that wealth of experience there. Marketing is not generally writing a blog or generally posting something. It's very specifically you approach a person. One needs to go out to corporates or to individuals and reach out and you know, offer your services. Hi, good morning, uh, Manoj. Thanks for making time for uh, our legal talks. Uh, welcome to this space. And uh, I would like you to tell us a little more about yourself because I know you more of as a you know legal alumni and my fellow uh, coach. You know, give us some more details about what you are into. So happy to be here, Priya. And happy to be with you. <laughs> so you are my uh, batchmate. See, basically, I got into training uh, way back uh, during my, maybe just I finished my school and I happened to see an ad on public speaking mm-hmm. in Chennai, did a public speaking workshop and I was very scared of public speaking mm-hmm. and I was very scared to go and mingle with people. So I thought maybe, you know, I need to work on it and I joined it. Uh, even after I finished the workshop, I still had a lot of fear. <laughs> so I joined more workshops on public speaking and um, then I joined Zeal and uh, uh, there were a lot of opportunity, a lot of uh, debates and a lot of stuff happening there. And I got a lot of exposure on public speaking. And it was founder of uh, Zeal, uh, Mr. Rajan, who uh, motivated me to get into this life because you're so enthusiastic here. So that was maybe 23, 24 years back. <laughs> wow. And I've, uh, I've been a trainer since, and I've been taking classes uh, for corporate as well as public workshops. And I like my job and I feel uh, those days there was hardly any money. <laughs> so sometimes I would go to a college and give a uh, full day workshop and there were no ACs in uh, colleges those days. Nowadays they have, mm-hmm. most of the colleges have AC halls. Oh. So you sweat it out <laughs> and then they give you a box, you know, a gift box. <laughs> oh. Generally it will be a mug with the college logo. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so making money was difficult those days and uh, even corporates used to pay very less. Uh, but now things have changed. Uh, 
so at that time i thought maybe i like this job so let me continue you know i'll manage my uh, somehow i'll manage <laughs> but now things have changed for trainers i think uh, it's still a lot uh, financially r- remuneration is a lot less compared to like western countries uh, but it has uh, it has picked up in a big way and today there is i don't have to explain who a trainer is uh, earlier i used to have, i used to explain what it means <laughs> okay. so nobody would understand uh, uh, who is a trainer and today i think people are aware of it so it's easy for me and, uh, there's a lot of potential in this line yeah right right wow it's inspiring to see that no matter what kind of hardship you went through you continued with that uh, space for like a good 23 24 years So I'm curious what made you take a coaching uh, you know as a as a learning uh, already being an established trainer So I have always been attending classes and uh, some workshop or the other because I I feel I enjoy attending workshops slightly more than I enjoy taking classes <laughs> <laughs> Okay Yeah so uh, So it just another workshop that I'm going to attend a friend of mine uh, narsimhan uh, who had selendi in uh, sundaram finance he recommended why don't you do coaching and uh, you know uh, go through icf certification uh, so i just happened to join uh, looking forward for yet another workshop i'm at today mm-hmm. so that's how i joined of course it is just not yet another program it is uh, it was a phenomenal learning experience for me. So that's precisely my next question Manoj so uh we all know that you have just recently completed your ACC but you're already on your PCC journey as well so i'm sure it's not yet another one because you're continuing to you know expand uh, the mastery level of your coaching uh, you know uh, skills so how is it all panning out for you and what's keeping that interest uh held for you Yeah, so I am completely hooked into the coaching process. I, uh, I, I, I've been doing. Uh, I mean, I have gone through professional training on psychotherapy into counseling. Mm-hmm. There's a bit of uh, diagnosis in uh, psychotherapy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, you might uh, want to see if the if the client comes with anxiety, whether he's suffering from generalized anxiety disorder or panic. disorder or social anxiety disorder you no know, there are various elements whether someone is adhd or ptsd or whatever <laughs> so there's a bit of diagnosis there's a bit of expertise that you bring in uh, right in uh, in counseling uh, so whereas coaching is a uh, what hooked me is the partnership and uh, is the complete uh, the the space that we create for the client to dive within themselves mm-hmm. so that uh, is something uh, uh, i i feel it's mind blowing because if if a person can dive within himself or herself uh, there are treasures within within each person and uh, they can discover uh, they can discover themselves so that space that we create of uh, it's it's a beautiful space it's a very nurturing space which most people don't get in their families or in their corporate environment most people are told what to do <laughs> right from young age we are told what to do you know you do this there are always do's and don'ts culture tells us society tells us and very rarely people go within themselves discover themselves okay, what do they want to do and Uh, what is their aspiration what is their potential and coaching creates a space you know it's a totally a non judgmental um, uh, non uh, we don't have that uh, in 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 psychotherapy we speak about intervention <laughs> right. so here it, it just a, it just a pure space that we create uh, which i feel is uh, every person need to experience this space because out in the world we may not experience that right uh, you know i think personally it's also my favorite the partnership uh, space 
and i sense that you know uh, to some level even diagnosing or recognizing you know one of the issue is also a kind of label and somewhere it's not putting you in the partnership space uh, so that that's uh, you know that's and also it reminds me of a conversation i had with one of uh, a supervisor from a parallel uh, you know uh, study space and uh, uh, that person is not into coaching at all and he was so in awe of the coaching space he said that there's so much of entanglement when we are speaking about you know all this uh, diagnosis and the past having an effect on the future but coaching somehow is all about you know right here right now and then take, take, taking it forward so it's all about trusting the other person's you know capacity and uh, helping him move forward in the direction so that's definitely you know something common in all of us who is uh, continuing to aspire and <clears throat> to make it big in the coaching space <coughs> uh i have one more question so you seem to have uh, you know a lot of experience in both attending training as well as being at training yourself for more than two decades so how was your personal experience with regal uh when you were on the other side of the training yeah yeah it, it was a great experience and uh, of course i am very much attached to my batch <laughs> yeah, and batch mates still catch up and uh, uh Uh, I think Subhash emphasis on ethics and uh, emphasizing on like how you just said labels you know no labels the, that that facilitation space uh, that coaching presence I think uh, all that were the highlights and the coaching mindset uh, so it did create a transformation uh, personally I felt uh, you know uh, to be able to completely give my presence to another person uh, instead of going uh, within me uh, uh, and uh, uh, going into a solution mode or going into a diagnosis mode uh, is to completely be there and uh, i feel kind of as uh, i feel i'm kind of evolved as slightly better person because of this uh, experiences that i can truly uh listen to another person um also um i recognize that person's uh, capacity that pa- look able to see that person's strength and able to be with another person without without going <laughs> within me right so, um so i feel kind of a better person because i can um um uh, because of the experiences of completely my attention being uh for the for the person who is in front of me totally there so, for the client yeah yeah totally there for for the client so that uh, uh also something that we most people uh, uh, i think we are in our own head and a lot of judgment analysis keeps happening uh, it's like it's a nice space to listen to another person i enjoy listening <laughs> even when i'm in that space you know than when i'm in a analytical space you know i could clearly see that it has changed you as a person and you rightly said you know it has brought about a transformation is there any transformation or impact of this coaching journey in your professional life as well yes of course uh, so I, so one is my uh, training which is my uh, which is my <laughs> the key element of course i do have counseling practice mm-hmm. but now i i have taken up coaching very seriously and it's also another wing of uh, my so i can, i i i put on different hats <laughs> yeah, wow <laughs> wow manoj so how are you managing all these hats uh, because i'm i'm naturally curious in terms of Oh my god it's so difficult sometimes you just wear one hat right then you have a trainer's hat you have a counselor's hat sometimes you're now having a coach's hat so you know according to you who stands to benefit or is it you deciding or is it the client deciding what kind of an intervention they need uh, how does it pan out in terms of someone choosing which intervention works best for them i uh, see i feel uh, of course depends on uh, uh, where they are right now if if they are going in through depression i think counseling would be the best you know 
uh, there is uh, specific intervention definitely needed at that point in time. Somebody has got panic attack, I think they should see a psychotherapist, mm. right? Uh, uh, so if uh, if they are going through some serious problems, any mental health issues, I think a psychiatrist or a psychotherapist would be the right approach. When there is lack of knowledge, training would be the best approach. Like for, like for example, if a person inherits his father's business, has not gone through any foundation on management skills, and uh, he just happens to inherit the business. So I think that he needs to have some foundation on management skills and some training on leadership and management skills would be quite appropriate uh, in, in that space, right? Uh, uh, coaching is where uh, I think coaching can be for at any level, right? Uh, it is a process of deeply thinking towards solutions, towards change, towards a positive change, towards growth. I think that that space is nurturing for anyone. Right? I I enjoy being a coachy as much as or coaching uh, a client okay. so uh, it it works on your muscle uh, thinking muscles and sometimes these thinking muscles are used to make ourselves miserable why why life is like this why life is miserable but in a coaching what happens is you you are using your thinking in the direction of change in the direction of solution so it's it's a very good space and whether I feel whether it's a small little kid or a highly experienced uh, uh, CEO or a highly experienced professional, I think coaching definitely does wonders uh, because uh, what we need is uh, that deep reflection and coaching allows you to go deep. I don't think on my own I will be able to go to that deep reflection. Uh, I may be limited by my thinking patterns, uh, but a coach uh, takes you out of those, uh, out of your box <laughs> or out of your patterns and helps you to think uh, beyond, uh, uh, beyond what you can actually think. So that space is wonderful space. Uh, it's like when you go to a gym and you, you work out, you work on your muscles. It's like going to a coaching session and work on your deep reflective abilities, deep thinking abilities, and you get insights and you get ideas and you n never know what could be those power of those ideas. So true, so true. Wow, Manoj, that's a very, uh, you know, very detailed uh, insights into what coaching is all about and what all benefits one stands to gain and at all levels, right? Uh, so, and I also heard in the beginning, you know, some, you know, when you started off as a trainer, you said I had to go and explain what training is. Now, thankfully, the situation isn't the same. Uh, but as a fellow coach myself, sometimes I feel probably, you know, the in the country or the world is still warming up for for you know what coaching is all about. And also somewhere I feel coaching is kind of you know exclusively held for the senior management people, and it's not really readily available for uh, the larger crowd. So what do you, what challenges do you face professionally, uh, you know, to get uh, coaching clients? Yeah, of course, <laughs> I'm in the same space where I have to explain what is coaching. <laughs> yeah, just like I used to explain, there was a time people had to be explained what is the therapy also and the mental health issues. But today there's a lot of awareness, right? When you have some, some really, uh, you know, psychological issues, you don't go and discuss with your friends or maybe they will support you, maybe they will not, but you go to a professional, right? So same thing I feel is the future because when you have a goal, whom do you go and discuss? Sometimes the spouse is willing to listen, sometimes they are not. Why do you want to discuss about your goals and your business? No. So whom do you discuss with your colleagues? I don't know whether they would be of, maybe maybe you are lucky, you, you might find a very supportive person, but it's not a, it's not a really a, the best place to go and discuss about your goals. So whom do you go and discuss with you? With you, you go to a pub and discuss with your friends there. <laughs> so people have goals in life. They have aspiration. Whom do they discuss? They go 
the best space to go and discuss is with a coach right you get so much of clarity otherwise everything is so foggy you know about your goals about your aspirations and and people just go through life without having that clarity about what they want to achieve so so i'm sure that in the days to come people will say that you know i want a coach i'm serious about my goals i want to come up in my life and a coach is going to help me in that direction so uh so i think uh, and not just the top ceos i think uh, it will it will come down like there was a time that uh, you know who buys a car only the very rich people buy a car but today like like most people most professionals it's not it's not difficult that even a person who has just joined the company uh, as a fresher can buy a car right so i think uh, professionals people who are serious about uh, their goals will want to have a coach and uh, and coaching would definitely help them uh, you know to realize their dreams and their aspirations to be successful i feel in another 4 or 5 years this industry is going to boom in a big way and and everyone would say yeah i would like to have regular coaching session with a coach so that you know i i keep myself on track about my goals so i i'm very positive that this industry is going to grow and i will hope i'll come to a space where i don't have to explain what is coaching <laughs> So, so, so you're giving uh, a lot of you know uh, positive sense or a positive momentum to what's happening around, right? And very true. You know, things are no longer uh, no. I mean, there has been no instance in history where you know what we considered as limiting to a certain sect has not really you know reached out to a larger group. The two examples that you gave in terms of you know the cars as well as uh, you know about the mental health issue, I think it's a, it's a, it's definitely you know uh, giving a lot of open scope uh, you know to really see coaching being that readily available for everyone. Uh, that's that's a great outlook personally for me as well as I'm sure to all the listeners uh, of, uh, of of this talk. Uh, is there any secret sauce to get paid clients? and i'm asking this uh, to you specially because uh, you know you may be uh, starting off as a you know in the coaching space new but is there anything that can be applied from your training space you know having that wealth of experience there yeah um, of course um, uh, i myself on that journey <laughs> uh, however i my this is my belief both as a trainer and um, Uh, also uh, i do have paid clients and, and uh, uh, that's the business side of coaching of course you need to have competence word of mouth makes a lot of difference but finally paid clients is a result of marketing and marketing is not generally writing a blog or generally posting something is very specifically you approach a person and uh, so that's what marketing is uh, you see uh, an insurance guy reaches out to a person and explains to that person uh, even a guy who sells peanuts in a in a in a train actually goes to a person <laughs> right uh, he's not, he's not just sitting at home and saying <laughs> why i don't have clients he actually goes out uh, marketing sales is a, is a different level altogether uh, one needs to go out to corporates or to individuals and reach out and you know offer your services and we should be proudly offering our services because we are adding value uh, and so with a sense of pride and with a sense of uh, uh, you know uh, sense of purpose if you approach people with a sense of conviction on what you're offering i think uh, of course if you if you just approach one person it it now works but if you approach enough number of people and if you have that conviction and sense of purpose paid clients is guaranteed market may not have fully evolved for coaching but there are a lot of people who wants to grow and who wants to come up in life they are they are very serious about coming up in life and 
they won't be able to see this as an opportunity i i loved uh, the powerful sentence that you said in terms of you know uh, with a sense of pride you know we coaches can approach the people and the people who are serious about their goals they will know the value of it that is so true and uh, i hope we you know i personally take that away from this conversation as something to work upon <laughs> um is there any message you want to share uh, to the aspiring coaches who may be you know uh, stuck in a decision limbo go through coaching <laughs> <laughs> when you're stuck Uh, yeah. uh, because i believe the coaching has a process and if we if we if we deeply reflect and think we will find a way yeah. right if we, if you think deep enough if we if we try something long enough if you're persistent enough i don't think there's any power that can stop any person yeah yeah anything is possible for someone who has persistence and who is willing to really uh, think and deep in a very reflective way and coaching gives you that space <laughs> i really I love the tag line in a way right you know you can use whether you want to become an aspiring coach take coaching experience it and you will know you know what that is. yes 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 that's a that, that's a super powerful one now manoj um yeah. <laughs> lastly manoj you know you are you are a person who have a lot of Uh, you know, a lot of specializations in the PTOP, and I was just going through your website, and wow, right from NLP to emotional intelligence to you know now coaching and to a lot of other skills. So you know, would you want to uh, you know, um, like if you have if you can share a message to the listeners, what all things can you be reached out for? That would be great. Yeah, see, my overall, although there are many stuffs. Uh, that i do and uh, uh, but overall it's all about mind yes uh, we do have muscle power <laughs> but comparatively not as much as like an elephant or a tiger we our power is in our mind so uh, how do we tap into our mind uh, is uh, so that's my fascination uh, because uh, uh, if this is a beautiful space healthy space uh, then life becomes wonderful so that's my fascination uh, so every program comes within that and coaching is also i like because it helps you to go deep within yourself uh, and look at your own thought patterns your own beliefs and uh, it also leads to self awareness so that's uh, crux i don't uh, confine myself to a specific topic as such because i feel i'm evolving so i cannot decide what i will do 5 years from now so with the maturity that i have right now i am doing some programs <laughs> <laughs> so That's- maybe i'll 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 think of something so it's very fluid it's very flexible but everything is in the space of self improvement it's in the space of making life wonderful tapping into my uh, i used to think i'm an average guy during my school days and then i realized that everyone is capable everyone has gifts and today i feel i am capable and i i i believe that everyone has that capability and so tapping into that our own capability uh, fully having self belief self confidence that's the overall aspect so right now i'm i'm going to start a program which is more focused on emotions uh, I don't I don't even know what program I'll start maybe after July. <laughs> okay. So yeah so there are many things uh, training I do counseling uh, people are going through a lot of uh, serious issues. Of course uh, there are certain cases I would uh, recommend them to go to a psychiatrist. Uh, sometimes i may still work with that person who may be sitting psychiatrist also so i i do cbt therapy i i am a gestalt certified gestalt therapist so so that's one area and coaching is another area uh, i'm very excited about it and i think there's a lot of uh, possibilities there yeah so that's where i am <laughs> wonderful manoj you know it's your humility speaking 
uh, you know and that's a fact with most of the people who are actually working on both themselves as well as holding a space for others you know when you said 5 years down the line i don't know what things will pan out but i would say you have a lot of clarity even right now when you say everything is related to the mind space if that's beautiful then there is absolutely no limit so i think coaching is beautifully branching out of that place and uh, i wish you all the very best in you know touching a lot of lives uh, not just through the various other interventions but the coaching as well and uh, is there any last words that you want to say before we close off yeah so i'm i'm grateful to subhash madhu rekha and all my uh, uh, regal community and and to you <laughs> uh, you're also my coach and uh, so yeah it's a, it's a wonderful space and i'm i'm very happy to be associated here and i look forward for a long term association with uh, the regal community Sure, sure, Manoj. Thank you so much for making time for today's conversation, and uh, we'll surely meet again soon. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Priya.